Maine's famous and isolated 100 mile wilderness, the Finnish atop Katahdin and the wild Baxter State Park make for maybe the most epic section of the AT. 2023, myself, Mike, my wife Jill, and our dog Cub Pops section hiked 1,225 miles of the Appalachian Trail, the longest footpath in the world, and we spent 13 weeks day hiking, working, and van camping on the Appalachian Trail as we moved up the trail slowly from Georgia to Maine. In this video, we're covering the final 151 miles of the AT in Maine when heading northbound. If heading Nobo on the AT, Caratonk, Maine is located at mile marker 2047, and the Mount Katahdin Summit is at mile marker 2198. This 151 mile stretch is what we covered in 10 days and you will gain 29,930 feet of ascent and have 25,190 feet in descent, plus the four to 3,000 feet of descent coming off of Katahdin. 100 mile wilderness Baxter State Park AT section hike need to nose. The Kennebec River Ferry is required and part of the AT. Take the ferry. Details in my full AT section hike guide article for this. The 100 mile wilderness is isolated. Bring food for the entire trip. However, it is easier hiking than it sounds. Some through hikers I met did it in five days. You can also slack pack like I did from Shaw's and the AT Hostel and Outfitters. There are lots of options, but choosing your path and preparing diligently for that is a must. Shaw's Hiker Hostel and the AT Hostel are great resources to double check all your plans before starting this section of the AT. We stayed at Shaw's for five nights and the AT Hostel for three. Dogs are not allowed in Baxter State Park, and honestly, I wouldn't recommend them hiking much in the 100-mile wilderness. Our dog's last miles were out of Andover, Maine, and the flat section of the northern end of the 100-mile wilderness to the edge of Baxter State Park. You will need a campsite permit, a day hiking permit, or be a registered through hiker to Summit Katahdin. They will not let you if you don't have one of these, including a car permit. We camped at A-Ball inside of Baxter the night before our summit and therefore could go up Katahdin because I was a section not through hiker. It's a great system to protect the wilderness, but I did find it a little confusing at first. I called their Baxter State Park office twice and they were super helpful in clarifying everything. A-Ball Bridge, not the one inside of Baxter, but the one at the northern end of the 100 mile wilderness, was our second favorite campground of the section. This area of Maine is rugged and wild. I can't stress preparation physically and mentally enough for this stretch. It took us five and a half hours out and back for the Katahdin Summit. It's a true bouldering rock climb for a bit and one of the hardest days of hiking I have ever done. We left with headlamps at 4.30 a.m. and it was our steepest day of ascent except for Mount Washington and the approach trail day in Georgia. You could also start this section a little earlier in Maine and Andover if you have more time. We hiked in and out of Andover and then jumped up here and loved camping at South Arm. This is the first or last of the Appalachian Trail for a through hiker. It doesn't have to be for a section hiker, but it was for me and I could feel and see my and everyone else's emotions. This stretch is tough as nails and they say no pain, no rain, no Maine, but that's just to get to Maine. To see the blood, sweat, and tears that people have put in to get here is inspiring. Then to know how hard it is the rest of the way out is equally wild. The pain and the rain are just beginning sometimes when you get to Maine. I've hiked in Acadia and explored the Maine coast quite extensively, but I've never been up to this wild and rugged stretch of central Maine. The mountains rival the white in New Hampshire and self-reliance is key. This whole stretch, while super challenging and even somewhat dangerous, felt like a dream come true. To have made it this far and still be intact felt like an epic culmination and was absolutely perfect. We had rain, we had pain, well I still have pain as a result of this section hike, and we had lots of Maine. It was 155 miles in 10 days. It was enough, but it was tough. You're gonna work yourself on this stretch. Have fun, prepare, and welcome to the wilderness of Maine. Thanks for watching and happy trails to you. Whether you're a through section day hiker, trail town local angel, or someone just wanting to learn more about the longest footpath in the world, I hope the AT gives you what you need. Leave no trace, pack your 10 essentials, and until next time, Mike R. signing off from the 100 mile wilderness, Baxter State Park, and Mount Katahdin. Happy trails, friends.